The BBC. Jurgen Klopp has described Liverpool's latest injury worry as the last thing they needed. Fabinho, who's been filling in for Virgil van Dijk in defence, came off with a hamstring problem in their 2-0 win over FC Michelin in the Champions League last night. It means that Joe Gomez is now Liverpool's only fit senior centre-back. The players who are now injured, we cannot use them on the first day of being fit again. They need then like a proper build-up for the rest of the season. That's what we try. Jota and Salah with the goals at Anfield last night. Liverpool topped their group, having made it two wins from two in the Champions League. Manchester City continued their perfect record with a 3-0 win at Marseille. Ferran Torres, Ilkay Gundogan and Raheem Sterling on the score sheet for Pep Guardiola's side. We are so close now to be in the last uh, 16. Uh, but still we are in, you know, improving. But with this mentality, I saw it from the beginning. And, uh, you know, three corners in five minutes, the way we press, the way we try to play there. Real Madrid needed two very late goals to draw 2-2 at Borussia Mönchengladbach. All the Champions League results are on the BBC Sport website. Chelsea are at Russian side Krasnodar tonight. Five Live Sport will have commentary of Manchester United against RB Leipzig. Barcelona president Josep Bartomeu has resigned under increasing pressure but said he had accepted proposals for the club to join a European Super League. Fans had been trying to remove Bartomeu, who became president in 2014 and had famously fallen out with Lionel Messi. Barca play Juventus in the Champions League tonight. There'll be no Cristiano Ronaldo Messi reunion, though, after Ronaldo produced a third positive coronavirus test. Reading are seven points clear at the top of the Championship after a 4 2 win away at Blackburn. Wins also for Barnsley, Middlesbrough, and Swansea. In women's European Championship qualifying, Northern Ireland picked up a 1 0 victory in Belarus. Despite Despite being down to 10 for more than an hour, Scotland and Wales suffered 1-0 defeats against Finland and Norway. The world 100 metres champion Christian Coleman says he's willing to take a drugs test every single day for the rest of his career to prove his innocence. This is after being banned for two years, having missed three tests. The American has 30 days to appeal, but as it stands, he won't race at next year's Tokyo Olympics. The LA Dodgers are baseball's World Series champions for the first time since 1988. They clinched Game 6 against the Tampa Bay Rays 3-1 overnight. Dave Roberts. And strike three. Dodgers have won it all in 2020. Sounds like life's back to normal there, doesn't it? But that game took place in front of a reduced crowd uh, under a closed roof. They were just all very loud on the night. Fair play to them. In hockey's FIH League, uh, Olympic champions Great Britain drew 1-1 against the Netherlands before being beaten 3-1 in the shootout. GB's head coach Mark Hager wasn't too disappointed, giving it was his uh, first competitive game since February. The girls were very happy with how they played today, but, but really gutted that they had an opportunity to win against the number one team in the world. And, and I suppose no one expected us to get even that close to them. And in netball, the Commonwealth champions England are facing the world champions New Zealand in the first of a three-test series in Hamilton. New Zealand lead 46-35 heading into the fourth quarter. BBC Sport.